It's about time. I was feeling peckish. What's this? Lunch is looking extra fresh this evening. How delightful. Well, hello there, little bug. So, so lively. Where could you have been off to in such a rush? Oh, you can't talk too well with all of that web in your mouth, now can you? No worries, dear. I'll make this as painless as possible. Oh, come now, don't give me those puppy dog eyes. This is just one of those unfortunate parts of nature. You weren't looking where you were going, and I happen to need to eat. Really, it's, it's nothing personal. Why do you have to be such a cute little thing? This really isn't fair. As much as I would love to sit here and chat, I also have places to be. Now that's just none of your concern. Ugh. Listen, I suggest you close your eyes and pray. Perhaps the ironic fate that karma brings will bring us together once again. And perhaps you'll have to be the one eating me. <laughs> oh, enough with the eyes! You're making this far too difficult. Fine. You get five seconds to explain why I should let you go, little bug. You'll just have to peel all of this web off your face. Don't move, don't move. Goodness. Goodness, you got your stuff stuck so well. Right. Maybe it's not so bad. All right. There we go. That should be all right. There. I pray you aren't wasting my time. Go on. Spit it out. I haven't all day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's very interesting. Though you still were the one that ran into my web. Which means you've made a fatal error. I'm so sorry. If I were to hear every sob story from each little thing that lands in my web, uh, could you guess what might happen? That was rhetorical. I would wither away and die. I would starve. Surely you understand that. I'm a living being too, you know. Oh, little bug, I... I won't feed from your flesh. That being said, I have established quite the name for myself in this part of the woods, and I want to be so abundantly clear in saying that I refuse to let that image slip. What does that mean for you? You see, little bug, in dominating this little corner of the woods, I've become rather lonely, <laughs> but I wouldn't let anyone know that. So, I think I have the perfect job for you. Oh? Are you having second thoughts? 
<laughs> Let's think about our words before we speak. Hmm? You do understand that by neglecting your new position, it would mean that I simply get to consume you, correct? Hmm. That's what I thought. Oh, come now, little bug. Please don't cry. It's, it's not a good look for you. Listen, all you have to do is keep me company. I can guarantee you it won't be boring. You'll have all eight of my legs to keep you company. <laughs> and now, we aren't going to need you trapped in all of this sticky webbing. Let's get you free. Little bug, you're such a sweet little thing. Look at you. You must have fought so valiantly against the webbing. It appears you've injured yourself. What a shame. Don't worry, though. I'll take good care of you. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I wouldn't recommend running away. That would be most unfortunate for you. <sighs> At this point, I don't think that I could eat you even if I wanted to. So stop worrying. <laughs> now come here. Surely you would like for me to help you with your injuries? That's what I thought. You know... If you would have fought any harder, you might have sustained permanent damage. Thankfully, it looks like you tired yourself out. Oh, now, let's take a look. Set you down. Hmm. I'm thinking I could use my webbing as a cast of sorts. You'll of course have to be careful with it for some time. But I think that you can do that for me, right? Oh, that's a good bug. I promise I'll be careful. I should have medicine as well. I'm sure you're a little dazed, right? Now, now, don't blame me. I never told you to wrestle yourself deeper into the webbing. By struggling, you actually made it worse for yourself. No matter, though. It's all water under the bridge, my dear. I'll be taking good care of you from now on. You won't have to worry about getting caught in any more webs, that's for sure. Oh, no, dear. No other arachnids dare come close to me. 
as I told you, I've made quite the name for myself in these woods. Oh, I go by many names, many of them so very flattering. Uh, Spider Queen, a damsel of death, uh, but since we're going to be so very close, I'd like for you to call me Mistress Leonora. Am I clear? Say it. Good luck. <laughs> now, let's get you tidied up. It seems you still have some web stuck to you. Uh, why don't I go on ahead and help you with that? We'll even get you wrapped in something comfortable. Nonsense. Of course I have clothes. Did you think that this was a part of me? <laughs> I made it myself. I needed something to pass the time, so I decided to use my silky web to create some of the most luxurious clothes in the land. Come. Feel my silk. Mm hmm. Isn't it lovely? <laughs> oh, little bug. There's far more to being a feared and respected forest entity than just overwhelming power. I'm well learned, and I have many skills. I'll be making you a wonderful set of clothes. Just because you're under me doesn't mean I'll leave you in rags. What kind of woman would I be if I did such a thing? <laughs> Let's get you that medicine, and I'll begin on your clothes. I'm sure something to dull that pain would be best. There we go. Now I'm just going to have to go ahead and drop this in each of your eyes six times. Look at me, look at me, look at me. Go ahead, keep that one open. Perfect. You're doing wonderful. Drop, 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 drop. All right, there, there. Now blink, 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 blink. Do not rub your eyes. It will ruin the dosage and we'll have to do it all over again. There we are. All right. Let me go ahead and give you something to help with your mental clarity. This should help you regain your focus and get you out of that mental fog. Hanging in a web for more than a short while can affect your body in some very nasty ways, you know. A little more. You're doing so well, little bug. Go on, just let it sit and absorb into your skin. Wonderful, wonderful. Now, Come lay next to me. I'll allow you to choose what pattern weave you'd like for your clothes. No, no. I'm much past being upset with you. I'd like you to become comfortable in your new life as quickly as possible. Now cuddle closer, or else. <laughs> Perfect. Perhaps after this, I'll weave a blanket for you. It can get so cold once night falls here. I'm sure you'll need something to keep you warm. Ah, uh -uh. 
not another word. I'd like for you to rest. Your weak little body needs it. going to sleep for the time being. I'll wake you when I finish my work.